my zoo tan going on. Look at that farmer's tan. Good girl, I need to get outside. Ooh. What's up? It's Zoe from ZA Reptiles, and today's video was kind of unplanned. So I'm gonna try to speak up over the sound of my fans. I don't know if you can hear them. I shut one off, so I started to look sweaty and gross. That's why it's very, very hot today. So our house is very, very hot, and I just feel so gross. I've already taken like two cold showers, especially because I had to go to the zoo this morning for my internship, and I was running around, and it was just, it, it was hot. It was really, really hot. So anyway, for those of you that know, Phoenix, my corn snake, came to me extremely overweight. She was being fed every one to three days. Um, I'll get into her story a little bit more in another video when I talk about her adoption story. She was massively overweight. So I started off feeding her, I think, once every four weeks. And now I'm doing one every three weeks. I think this will be the last time I do three weeks. I'm going to try doing two weeks for her next feeding. And I'll probably stick with two every two weeks after that. So today is the day that she gets fed. So I was going to film that process for you and see if I can get her eating on camera. The very first time that I fed her, I tried to record it. And she ended up behind a branch so you couldn't see the strike. Oh my god, it was so frustrating. I was so mad that I missed it. Real quick, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and maybe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more. So this is how you do it. You got your bowl, your rice, your chicken, and your barbecue sauce. Throw them all together, throw it in the microwave. So what I do is I take my mice, I put them in a Ziploc bag, Put them in the fridge overnight, let them thaw out. In my case, I put it in recycling, so this is my old protein powder tub um, because I do share my fridge with for the roommates. So I think they'd appreciate not opening it up and seeing a dead mouse. So I fill up the container with warm water. I'm just taking the mouse in and letting it soak for about five minutes. And sometimes I will use a cup or something heavy to hold the bag down so that the mouse stays under the water and gets warm. I don't know if you can see the mouse in there. There it is. So I use it to weigh the bag down a little bit so the whole mouse gets all warmed up. So after five minutes, I dump out the old water, put in new hot water, and put the mouse back in for another 10 minutes. I don't know why, but this mouse is like really bloody. It's crazy. I don't understand. So once your 10 minutes is up, you're just gonna check your mouse. Um, like I said, mine is a very bloody mouse this time around. So what you can do is you can either feel your mouse and see if there's any cold spots, if you're brave. Um, because mine is so bloody, I'm really not feeling it today. I usually just feel it through the bag. It feels like it's pretty warm, pretty good to go, not frozen, not cold, then we're usually good. I've done this method every time I fed her and so far it's been a success and she's doing great. So I'm just going to take my bin and we're going to head upstairs and feed her. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to take some of the sticks out. Okay, so now we've got a pretty good shot since that's all out of the way. So I'm hoping I can get her right over here and you'll be able to see. Oh, I scared my hands. They're going to be like too close. So you snatch them. Yeah. Oh shoot. So I actually have to pause this real quick. I forgot to cover our case's enclosure. 
he can't see when I feed her because he freaks out. Okay, now we're good. He can't see. He's like right here on his bed. So we're good. All right, here we go, take two. There she is. Look at me. Look right here, hey. Oop, look over right here. So I put her branches and leaves back in, and now she's just chilling, feeling like a villain.